Associate Professor at Kabli IPMU. I am also the director of our newly established Center for Data-Driven Discovery. Today I will introduce to you the 2024 Nobel Prize in Physics. On October 8th, the Nobel Prize in Physics were awarded to two scientists, um, John Hopfield from Princeton University and Jeffrey Hinton from the University of Toronto for their contribution to AI, in particular using the physics knowledge to help machines to learn. Hopfield used the ideas from physics to create the Hopfield network, which helps the brain to store and recall memories. This idea is from how um, atoms with spin, or you can think of them as tiny magnet, how they interact. So when you have a collection of these tiny magnets, when you align them in a certain way, up or down, you can lower the overall energy. So the hub field network is also trying to achieve lower energy by adjusting uh, the connections between the elements within the network to achieve the same results. Okay, now I will give you an example of uh, how hub field network works. Here I am drawing Not the most beautiful, but you can tell this is a bunny. Assume this is an image that is already stored in the network. Now, if I input a different image, like this, to the network, it is an incomplete image. The network will continuously refine this image and trying to find, uh, fill in the missing information and recover uh, the best image. Okay, so this is the example of Hopfield network. So Professor Hinton extended uh, this idea to a Boltzmann machine, which can now recognize patterns in some images. For example, here in this bunny, it might be the eyes, the ears, hands, feet of this bunny. And in addition, it uh, is able to recognize the same feature in the image it never seen before, or generate an image that you never seen before. For example, in this case, yeah. let me try. <laughs> now, we have a bunny that is uh, sideways facing us, but you still have the same ears, and the uh, eyes, hand, feet, and now you have a tail. Hopfield network and the Boltzmann machines are inspired by statistical physics, which is a branch of physics that focuses on the collective features or properties of many particles instead of their individual properties. For example, to describe the condition of this room that I am standing in, I actually don't care about individual atoms around me. I don't care about their weight, I don't care about how fast they move, because they're quite chaotic. Individual of them doesn't really matter to me. But instead, what, I'm, what matters to me is the collective behavior of all these atoms, nitrogen, oxygen atoms around me. What I like to know is the temperature and the pressure of these atoms. Because with that information, I can now decide should I put on a jacket or turn on the AC. So the combination of deep, deep neural network and the physics is really at the foundation of modern AI that is currently being used widely, such as uh, image recognition, voice recognition, for example. Scientists at the Center for Data-Driven Discovery in Kavli IPMU are now trying to use AI to accelerate our research. In addition, we're also trying to use physics to understand and improve AI.